I own a Roblox game, but it's a little bit too hard. Okay, I'm almost at the top. I got this, I got this, I got this. Fuck! <clears throat> I meant to say factory. Anyways, because of its difficulty, people leave dislikes on my game. Of course, me as a developer, I don't want that. So I need to fix this. How I'm going to do it? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan to add noob and pro towers. That should balance the game and make every player's experience fun. Currently, almost all of my stages are really hard, so I must design new ones. My idea for the noob tower is to add 10 easy stages that'll keep shuffling. And for the pro towers, I'll just throw in all the stages, plus these new ones. So what am I waiting for? Let's get to work! For the first stage, I want to make it really easy and fun. What do kids like? They like ball pits, so how about I make a stage like that? I added a bunch of balls in different sizes and tested the stage out. Uh, I think I forgot to anchor the balls, hold up. So you can choose to either go here, okay. I don't know how I fell, but it is pretty simple. You just gotta jump, maybe jump up here. Wait, can you do this jump? Yeah, you can. It is a little tricky, but for the most part, it's a pretty easy stage that almost everyone could do, I believe. So now onto the next one. I want to make this stage a little different. So I used conveyors and kill bricks. This one was a little tricky to make, but I still got it. Now I only got 8 more stages to make. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This next stage is probably my favorite, because I used all sorts of math symbols. And now you can learn math while playing Impossible Tower. Isn't that great? But I still had to make sure it's possible. So here's the third stage. As you can probably tell, it's related to maths. It has the dividing symbols, adding symbols, and also the equal sign. So let me try to complete it. Okay, for the next stage, I want to try out something new. I want to rotate the moving platform and see if it works. Okay! This actually works! Yo! Yo, this is amazing actually. Perfect, it works! So, let me make the next stage. It's made entirely out of moving platforms. Introducing stage 5 or 4. I don't even know. But the stage starts off with a steep climb to the parts that leads to a big fat cube in the middle. Following up, we got easy jumps all the way to the top. Now, let me just test it out. Okay, I don't know how this stage is going to work out, but let me try it out. Okay, so I go up here, jump right here. One part was impossible, because you cannot avoid some kill bricks, so I fixed it by scaling down some of the parts. Now I can move on to the next stage. I colored the stage light orange and placed down a couple of spinning parts. While testing it out, I notice that I need to invert the rotation of some parts, so I changed the speed value from 1 to minus 1. Now it was working correctly and I can complete the stage. For the next stage, I already have a plan. So while I'm bored at school, I think of stage ideas. Let me pull out my notebook. Don't ask why it looks like this, I don't want any comments about that, alright? But anyways, I'll be making this design right here. I know what you saw there. I'm not making a Krabby Patty stage. It's not going to happen. Alright, now let me build the stage in studio. I colored it artichoke. 
It's like a dark green color and pretty much built the layout I had in my notebook. Let me test it out. Okay. Where did the spinning platform go? Oops, I forgot to anchor the spinning part. Okay, it works. But the part is not placed correctly in the center. Let me fix that. Much better. New day, new stages to make. I started off by making stage 8? I don't even know which stage I'm making. I keep losing the count. Anyways, I place down pretty much everything. Lasers, moving platforms, and conveyors. Now, it's time to test it out. Okay, so let's jump up right here. And... I think you should be able to just So, I added a cooldown and adjusted these lasers a bit. Now, it's way easier with the added cooldown and I could say this stage is done. Okay, I colored the ninth stage purple and made it 40 studs tall. Inside, I placed a lot of parts, some having kill bricks on top. Now for the 10th stage, I will make it 80 studs high and add cool paths. I have all the stages ready, so now it was time to make the pro towers. I added a new portal in my lobby to teleport you to the pro towers. I made the top arched, but quickly realized there isn't going to be space for the text. So I decided to use a rectangle shape instead. Now let me make it work. I used the teleport service to teleport the player when they touched the white glowy part. Then I made the same portal for the pro tower lobby and increased the minutes that you have to complete the tower from 5 to 7. You might wonder, what's the point of pro towers? Well, you get 2 times the tower tokens, that's huge if you want to grind for the leaderboards. There are some consequences though, pro towers will have 8 stages instead of 5. To make that work, I adjusted my main script. Let me try out pro towers myself. Okay, so, you know I can just take this shortcut. Ignore my bad skill. I don't know why I'm so bad at my own game. I don't want to fall. Should I take this path? Yep, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Okay, now this stage should be easy. You just gotta... Okay, no. Okay, let's not talk about that. But instead, let me add a new currency called wins. You'll be able to obtain them by completing the tower. So, I started off by adding a new frame that'll display the amount of wins you have. Then, I added this line of code that awards one win per tower completion. Back to the teleporter, I wrote new lines of code that checks if you have 5 or more wins before allowing you to teleport. Then I added the text label that displays how many wins you need to teleport and made it disappear if you have 5 or more wins. So, I have a leaderboard for the most tower tokens collected, and some of you guys are grinding it like crazy. So, how about I add another leaderboard for the most wins? To make it, I added two buttons, one for the tower tokens leaderboard, other for wins, and wrote this script that should control them. Let me try it out. So, let me wait until the tower tokens one loads. And if I click on wins, um, yeah, something was wrong. So I separated my leaderboard script into two different scripts, one for wins and other for tower tokens. Let's pray this works. Let's go, it does. The new update is now live. Give it a try if you're bored. I worked really hard on this update. So I would appreciate if you could just help me out by hitting that subscribe button. I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day and peace.